for those of you just joining us, my name is Corey Richards. Uh, Adrian Ballinger is behind the camera right now. What's up? Uh, we were going to give you a, sort of an overview of our gear that we use on the mountain, but unfortunately most of that's already up there. So I'm going to give you a tour of base camp real quick. Obviously it's snowing. Uh, this is where we sleep. These are our little homes for two months. And then we've got all, everything we need inside, everything that we could possibly pack into a little space like that to make us comfortable. Behind me, you can see our solar array. They're all over the ground. They're up on a tripod. Those are our panels that we use to power batteries that we have inside of our uh, dome set up here. So we're gonna get to the domes in a second. I'm gonna move down to the kitchen now. This is our dining tent right here. Tula, Hello. say hi to America. <laughs> this is Tula, he's our cook. This is Norbu, he's our Tibetan helper. Uh, this is the kitchen tent. So this is where all the magic happens. Moving on up the incredible staircase. And into the domes. Oh, too much snow. Anyway, come on into the, the eating tent. This is it. This is where we have our meals. Uh, our whole team gathers around every night, has sort of a family style dinner. This is our uh, awesome Chinese thermoses. I drink about six to eight liters of water a day to try to stay hydrated. So it's unreal. <laughs> it makes it hard to sleep. Moving on, we've got our connectors here into the, uh, the chill dome. This is our doctor, Monica. She hates hi. the camera. Say hi to America. Hi. <laughs> but this is where we come to uh, kind of hang out and relax. Uh, blow up furniture is a must up here. This one's not blown up so much. It's kind of sad. But yeah, that's sort of the base camp setup. That's how we live. That's how we relax and spend a lot of our time. Our entire base camp setup, we'd estimate it's probably about 9,000 pounds of gear that was moved from the U.S. through Nepal into Tibet, over the Tibetan Plateau, and via yaks up to here at 21,000 feet. It's an incredible sort of like logistical puzzle. And it sounds like a lot probably for Corey and I. We're actually sharing our base camp with Alpenglow Expeditions, my guiding company, and their commercial team of climbers attempting the mountain with oxygen. Uh, just the two of us spending two and a half months together <laughs> without any other people might be a little bit rough. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, we like distractions. <laughs>